Hey everybody, today's video, I wanna to talk to you about, if there was a title to it, it would be why no one wants to look at their shit <laughs> or why people don't want to dig deeper and look under the surface. So in everyone's life, you're born a baby and you get to a certain point of your in your life and obviously you have all these beliefs that are built up from the time you're a baby to whatever age you are now. And people tell you these things and because they tell you these things over and over, you, you acquire certain beliefs about yourself, about the world, about life, about how to feel, about when to speak up. Everything you've been taught, you believe because someone else told you over and over and over. So a belief that you have is basically just a thought that you keep, you kept repeating over and over and over. So if it was, you know, you don't feel good enough. So maybe someone told you a lot that you weren't good enough or that you didn't made you feel to not be feel good enough. And what happens is when you get to a certain age, so for me it's 43 or 40, um, when you get to a certain age, something may happen, something may occur in your life that will shift that for you or everything you have ever learned or believed in up until this point will come crashing down. So that's a necessary part of, of development and your entire journey. And it's a good thing, however, those thoughts and beliefs that you had up until this point no longer serve you because once you get to that point of, of you know, either waking up or literally being on the ground, like on the floor, like it was for me, you, at some point it has to shift. At some point you're going to have to look at the shit. You're going to have to look at, when I, when I mean shit, I mean the, the beliefs that don't serve you. So the self-limiting beliefs. So you're going to have to look at those under a microscope that is big as something, something really big. <laughs> you can't go through your whole life and not look at the stuff because you're going to be at a point in your life where you're going to question your beliefs. You're like, whoa, something is in me that doesn't really jive with this belief anymore. And your inner being, your soul, whatever you want to call it, that is what you are, will eventually, I don't want to say cry out, but that's not the word. Your soul will eventually get to the point where you'll feel this really strong urge to figure out why you have these beliefs that don't serve you and how you can change them and become who you really are. So think about that for a second. And the reason why people don't wanna look at their shit or dig deeper is because it's painful, it's messy, it's crappy, it's work. It's a lot, a lot of work. And a lot of people don't wanna do that because they are not happy to be where they are. They're comfortable. They're, you know, a little bit uncomfortable, but they're like, I can live with this. I can, I can con continue on this path. I can keep, you know, thinking these things about myself. I can keep walking around with my head in the sand. I can keep, you know, feeling this way about me. I'll just learn to live with it. But no, no, I'm here to tell you that no, you do not have to keep feeling that way. You don't have to keep hold on to these beliefs that are not serving you. Okay, so there's, there's, and going with the title of the video, if I had a title, was why you don't want to look at it because it's, it's painful. But I feel like you're probably in more pain carrying on to these beliefs that you don't, that don't serve you and you know are not true anymore. And eventually it's going to, it's going to crumble. It's going to, your whole belief system is going to go, and you're going to start questioning little by little, you know, who you are, who the hell am I? You know, who am I when I'm by myself? Who am I really? Where did I come from? You know, this can't be true that I'm not good enough because I was here, for, I'm here for a reason. So that just automatically makes me good enough. Okay? So I just want you to know that, that looking at your shit is going to change everything. It's going to get you 
to who you really are and to be able to stand up and figure that out. Say, yes, I want to get messy. Yes, I want to know who I am. Yes, I want to uncover those beliefs that don't serve me and I want to change them and I want to make things amazing. I want to get in alignment with who I really am, which is your inner being and your soul, okay? So I'm going to leave you with that thought to process that for a little bit and think about, just think about what it would feel like on the other side of the mess. Who would you be on the other side of the mess? Who would you be if you said, yes, I want to shift and I want to go through the crap. I want to go through it. I'm ready to get messy. I'm ready to, to look at this and I'm tired of ignoring it or tired of distracting myself with other things so that I don't have to look at this thing or these things that are ready to be uncovered and atoned and all that good stuff. So think about that. That's my thought for today to leave you with that. 